Hi, Egg people. This is Mo over at Mojo Treasures, and I want to show you my next album for Basically Bear. And this is another one of my get to projects for CHA 2012. Hi, Angela, and everybody there. Okay, so this, this book right here is way too chubby, and um, so it's not bound, and I'm going to show you why in a second. This frame, for example, well, let me just show you this. I had to undo it because. I hope I didn't just make you nauseous by moving too quick. Look how thick this is. This is just the book. And so I just took my binders off of it for a second so I could show you. That I'll show you how it got so chubby. But let me show you this part first. Okay, so this is the front of um, the album cover, which is a tab, which is really cool. And I started off and I used my Close to My Heart paper, which is a really great, I think this one's called Sonoma. And it's really beautiful paper, and it matches so great with my favorite company, uh, the Fab Scraps. That's my new favorite line. And they're out of South Africa. I met them through CHA two years ago. This is their second year coming, so that's pretty awesome. And so basically, Bear gave me a challenge. And so this book is going to be all about the dress forms and about sewing and such. So check this out. So I have my little working pair of scissors, which I use from the, the little embellishment kit that came with scissors and such, and the little um, spool of thread, which I went ahead and wrapped it with my favorite lace trim, which is on their dress form. And this is actually a Prima Butterfly, which I use for the bodice. Give her that little naughty, sexy look. Okay, so that's a butterfly. Just obviously cut off the antennas, because then she would have just looked like she had a really great cleavage going on. <laughs> but it's just those girls talking, right? Okay, so anyways, and speaking of butterflies, and over here I have a, a Carla 001. And then I have a beautiful, beautiful vintage uh, lace doily that my friend Christy gave me, one of my secret squirrels. Hi, Christy. Thanks again. Loving it, loving it. And then back here, I've got some, some of my roses. These are actually latex, and they're from Prima. And this one's a Prima, which I sprayed with my thing. Didn't that come out great? I get, got the same green going on and the same purples going on um, for there. And this is a Carla's. This is a Prima back here. And this, Marie, I had to borrow this for a tiny minute off of your box. I will be putting it back later. But this is off of my secret squirrel from Marie. And I just love that. It was too perfect to go with the whole vintagey thing. Okay, and then I got some fab scraps down here. Okay, so this is the front of the page. But I wanted to show you why this had to be on the outside because my book was going to be, you know, like really, really chubby when I got done with it. But this was a total fluke how I made this. Juliana, remember you got me all inspired about making the vintage keepsake box? Well, because Annie Mo doesn't wait well about waiting for things, and if she doesn't have something on hand, she'll just go off and try something different. So since I didn't have any thick, um, um, you know, the you know the cardboard stuff that I can't chipboard. Thank you very much. That I didn't have a, a thick kind, so I used cereal boxes, and I could tell that I would have to make this to make it a deep box. Um, that I would have to make a whole bunch of them. So what I did was I turned it into a frame. How fun is that? But this, Juliana, I had to, made you wait. This is the one that I came back after you inspired me. That's how much thicker it should have been as opposed to that. So anyway, so this is my keepsake box. It's not finished because you know how I just love to get started on new things. But that's my box on the inside. It's totally rustic. It's totally fun and I haven't dulled it up on the inside yet. So that's what gave me my inspiration for the front of my basically bare um, tabs book. Isn't that cool? So that's my front. Then keeping in mind with the keeping in theme with the um, thing, I went ahead and took it up another level and used one of their um, felt frames um, as a frame and that's the old-fashioned wallpaper look behind it. And then one of the little sewing machines which I went ahead and used my, can you see? I went ahead and used my um, Boy, I'm, I'm just doing so great today with my English language. You know, I actually have a pretty good vocabulary, but you certainly wouldn't know it today. But anyway, so I went ahead and used my um, oh, rub and buff. Thank you very much. And then I handed my little singer because singer was the one I grew up with and learned how to sew on. Then I came back with some vintage uh, trim and um, some of my recollections pearls. And I just did three on purpose. And then I'm going to hang another lace here, another ribbon here when I get done. So that's page number one and two. Okay, and then when you get to the next part of the book, when you get to the next part of the book, you get to do two of the, the medium-sized ones. And so I just dulled them up with paper and lots of bling, 
and that's from Carla's. And this is from Carla's. Oh, look what I did here. This was totally fun. This is another one of their frames. And this is one of my favorite sayings from Francis Bacon. The job of the artist always is to deepen the mystery. So I made a pretend pocket on the front here. And then I just dolled it up with some Carla, some Prima, um, some more of their lace, and some of my um, silk that I got from May Arts. And there you go. So that's my first one. And then it's just going to be color coordinated to go with the next page. So picture this one's going to go like this when we open it up. And then we're going to have my big frames and my other stuff on here. But I'm just giving you the sneak peek. Okay, so that goes to that page. And then it goes to the browns because I'm all brown and blues in this book because I love those color combinations. So then it's one more of these. And then we go into Fab Scraps paper, which will go into... Okay, Angela, I wasn't joking about the... Um, I wasn't joking about the canvas, okay? So my next page was supposed to be a pocket in the book. So what I did was, is I was all ready to take your um, advice and go ahead and stamp on the canvas, and you were right. It stamps beautifully. It takes the ink really well. Well, do you love this kind of a retro look going on right here? This was a complete accident. I dropped over a four-ounce bottle of my favorite purple stain right down the front of it. I said, okay, well, let me just come back and grunge that out. Well, look what it did. It made a natural pocket on top of my thing. So I just took advantage of that and hung a, another frame, made another little slot, and put some of my vintage trinkets that I got from Nancy from Going Crazy. Hi, Nancy. Love these, honey. And Carla's little flowers and Prima flowers and some feathers and uh, one frog feathers. Okay, so there's that one. So that's my first attempt at canvas. You already saw my other, my second attempt, which was on the Valentine book. Okay, so then this page is also a pocket. And there's that new paper from um, Sweet Nothings from Kaiser Craft. And so I dolled it up, and in the background I took their trim and then took their paper from Close to My Heart and then just did one of my Sizzix embossing folders. And that goes in there. And so there we go. So that's page number two or three or four, which goes with this one, which goes with this one, which goes with this one. And there you go. And we're all done. So now all I have to do is bind it together and add the rest of my embellishments. And this is going to be mailed off tomorrow, Miss Angel. Okay, so I want to thank everybody for listening to me and going crazy again as usual. <laughs> but like I said, you never know what you're going to get when you watch a video. It's either going to be a put together. Well, I have to say, this is the first book I've ever showed you that was not put together. Because Mo's not together. And I've been actually playing with this all afternoon. Okay, so you guys have a great day. And I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye.